Spasticity is a condition in which muscles contract or tighten involuntarily. It can involve many muscles, diffuse spasticity, or only a few muscles, focal spasticity. Spasticity is caused by damage to nerves in the central nervous system that interrupt the normal pattern of reflexes, which in turn affects muscle contraction. Spasticity occurs in conditions that affect the brain and or spinal cord, including cerebral palsy, traumatic brain injury, stroke, spinal cord injury, and multiple sclerosis. Spasticity often affects the legs, but can also occur in the arms and in the neck and trunk. The symptoms of spasticity include increased muscle tone, involuntary movements. These include spasms, involuntary muscle contraction, and clonus, a series of fast involuntary contractions that feel like a tremor, pain or discomfort, less ability to function, problems with care and hygiene, abnormal posture, contracture, a permanent tightening of the muscle and tendon caused by severe stiffness and spasms, bone and joint deformities, and a lower quality of life. Diagnosis. To make a diagnosis of spasticity, the doctor will perform a physical examination and ask the patient about his or her medical history. The doctor will also analyze the patient's posture, movements, coordination, and strength. As part of this analysis, the doctor will stretch various muscles to assess how tight they are. The doctor may order certain tests to understand what causes spasticity, such as an MRI to look for damage in the central nervous system. In many cases, the cause of spasticity is already known, and the goal of the assessment is to determine how best to minimize its impact. Treatment. Spasticity should be treated when it causes pain or discomfort, interferes with activities of daily living or sleep, or affects the ability to function. The treatment plan is developed based on the patient's needs, preferences, and goals. The best way to treat spasticity usually means having an actively involved patient or support person and caregivers who work with a team of healthcare professionals from different specialties. Members of this team may include one or more of the following individuals, a neurologist, physiatrist, a rehabilitation doctor, physician assistant, nurse practitioner, nurse, physical therapist, occupational therapist, speech language pathologist, neurosurgeon, or orthopedic surgeon. Spasticity can be treated in various ways, both non-medically and medically. The effects of spasticity can be reduced in the following ways. Performing stretching exercises daily. Prolonged stretching can make muscles longer, which helps to decrease spasticity and prevent tightening. Performing an adapted exercise routine as often as possible. And splinting, casting, and bracing. These methods are used to maintain range of motion and flexibility. Spasticity can also be treated with oral medications, which include baclofen, tizanidine, dantrolene, diazepam, clonazepam, and gabapentin. Advantages of oral medications include the following. They can relax a large number of muscles. The dosage is easy to adjust. And oral medications may be stopped at any time. However, some drugs should not be stopped abruptly. Disadvantages of oral medications include the following. The effect may be modest. Drowsiness is a common side effect. Dizziness and weakness may occur, and some medications may cause liver damage. Your doctor will review the instructions and potential side effects of these medications with you. Botulitum toxin injections. Botulinum toxin can be injected into spastic muscles. Preparations of botulinum toxin available in the U.S. include onobotulinum toxin A, or Botox, abobotulinum toxin A, or Dysport, Incobotulinum toxin A, or Zeomin, and Ribobotulinum toxin B, or Myoblock. These injections can reduce tone selectively in muscles where spasticity is the most bothersome. Botulinum toxin is particularly helpful with focal spasticity. 
Although botulinum toxin injections are usually safe and well tolerated, in rare cases the effects from the medication can spread outside the muscles injected and cause complications. The botulinum toxin is injected directly into the spastic muscle. The effects usually take 7 to 10 days to become noticeable and last about 3 months. Baclofen Pump A therapy known as intrathecal baclofen is used to treat severe diffuse spasticity. The medication baclofen is delivered directly into the spinal fluid by a surgically implanted programmable pump and catheter. Because the drug is delivered close to the spinal cord, much less baclofen is needed to achieve muscle relaxation. Therefore, there are fewer side effects like drowsiness than if the drug were taken by mouth. However, weakness can occur and potential complications specific to this treatment must be taken into account. For this reason, patients must undergo a screening test before the pump is placed to ensure that they can benefit from intrafecal baclofen therapy. Results of spasticity management. Although managing the symptoms of spasticity does not treat the underlying condition or injury, it can improve the patient's comfort and range of motion. It can also make care easier, and in some cases, can improve the patient's ability to perform daily activities. Thank you for choosing Cleveland Clinic for your care. If you have any questions, please ask your caregivers.